I heard everything at that company from uh, we don't want you to get married because we don't want you to quit to um, uh, you're very logical for a woman. That was uh, those were some of my favorites. Um, and when I did finally quit to go to graduate school, I was told by my manager, I feel like you're divorcing me. <laughs> and so that was that was my my early years in, in uh, some discrimination and some harassment. Why? Why aren't there any women? What can what what are we doing wrong? And so, you know, I got tasked with uh, fixing the problem. And what they ended up doing was hiring a bunch of women from the outside and putting them in very senior roles um, instead of promoting from within and watching more and more women quit. And then finally, uh, as I entered my uh, more recent years in my 50s, um, I was told very explicitly, this is not about you, you're too old. You need to put your energy to the younger generation. Age diversity and gender diversity, if you combine those two, gender actually uh, helped decrease the volatility in share prices. And if you added combined age and gender diversity, you increased the return, financial returns, by up to 5%. All the research shows that with diversity, uh, we achieve much, much better results. And it's up to us to prove this now. There's no point waiting. It's not going to happen organically. We just have to, you know, step sideways. If you can't do it in your own firm, every firm has to have 50-50 vision on board. If your firm doesn't have to have, doesn't have 50-50 vision on board, meaning equal amounts of men and women on board, then quite either you leave them or you tell them that they have to level up within a certain very short period of time. But things just have to change now. You know, it's time for talking is over. Now is the time for action. And we've got to set this action ourselves. No one else will do it for us. The modern asset management has to have diversity in it. You know, encourage each other, encourage the work, continue to partner and continue to move uh, the efforts forward because it is definitely needed and so, um, so important to what we do. As an asset owner or asset managers, we should use the power we have as owners to really try and engage and influence and use all the tools we have available. I think the financial industry is pretty rubbish in terms of diversity across the value chain. So as asset owners, we should sit on our asset managers we should also look at keeping our own house in order. I think to, to activate people and get many more people into leadership, we've got to entertain new forms of leadership, co-leadership, shared leadership, distributed leadership. This idea of having just one person at the top, one lonely figure that has all the answers, all the ideas, all the knowledge is completely outdated. And we need you know, a million times more leaders to sort out the climate crisis. So what I really want to encourage women in particular to do is to not try and do it all themselves, but to actually come group together, form networks, form teams, be co-leaders, be co-founders, particularly now. Uh, we have a hard time retaining the females that are actually starting to work here. So they launched um, uh, what they call the High Potential Female Program to attract and retain the talent um, and I had the possibility to join that program and then afterwards I was elected uh, a leader and I think it was not only good for me but for the whole organization could we could create a network uh, of female and then we could also everyone saw that there was a possibility to actually grow uh, and um, get further up in the uh, in the organization which I, which I think is important. I think we can uh, also talk about how we need to inspire each other and motivate each other. So I was able to do, through the company I work for, Agipia Central, um, a, an eight-month mentoring program. So I was a mentee, which sounds like a strange word, but I was mentored by a, a lady who um, had, has no connection to our organisation. And that was quite liberating. I was able to discuss various issues and also not just work related and I was in a situation where I was um, about to well I thought I deserved a promotion and then I did get it in the end but it was just very helpful to have that discussion with somebody outside of uh, with who could view it a bit more neutrally but also to discuss sort of family life balance issues and that sort of thing and one thing I took away from that project was that it's so important to um, 
praise each other um, and do that in front of others as well and lift each other up. And I think women to women as well, we can do that more. And also hear those inspirational stories of, of how women are able to, to climb the ladder and be treated with respect. We recognize the differences in culture and the differences in the way that things are done. Uh, we certainly want to make sure that we are respectful of the different types of cultures. And we bring along asset owners um, in many parts of the world for the work that we're doing. You know, as I mentioned, partnership is one of the, the it's a it's a vehicle that runs across the work that we do. And so we look to partner with asset owners all over the world for the work that we're doing. And as a result of that, we are you know inclusive in terms of their culture and we exchange information and ideas. At the end of the day, um, we, you know, at the end of the day, we all, you know, as asset owners have the same goals, which is to grow our assets and to make sure that we're able to support the individuals with them you know, within whom we are charged to support. And so that really is a, a big, um, that's a big plus for us. I believe that this work and the work of so many amazing and creative organizations like ExecuShe make a difference. Mm -hmm.